What's up everyone? Whether you are a serious woodworker or just a hobbyist, you will not get very far without a quality table to mount your woodworking router on. We have compiled a list of the best benchtop router tables so that both amateur and professional woodworkers will be able to find the best product choice for them and their needs. There are a number of options on the market which makes it difficult to choose the best one. In this video, we compile the list of the top 5 best benchtop router tables on the market today. Be sure to watch till the end for our best recommendation. If you want more information or updated pricing on the products mentioned here, check out the links in the description below. If you have another product you'd like us to review, let us know by leaving a comment down below. So without further ado, let's get started. First we have Craig PRS 2100 Benchtop Router Table. A fantastic table that will enable you to get any woodworking job done, even if you have to stop in the middle, pack up the table and resume again later. If you are woodworking on the go or if you anticipate moving around a lot, this table is a great choice for you. Its pros are, it is good for use by amateur woodworkers. It has included vacuum system to get rid of wood dust. Its legs are strong and sturdy. Table does not rock at all. It comes with setup bars, feather boards, and insert discs. And it can be light enough to also be a portable table if you are woodworking on the move. However, its clamps holding the fence are not super strong. Fence can move slightly if there is enough pressure. Bottom line is, its industrial quality fence is equipped with vertical jointing, adjustable faces, cam clamps, and dust collection. Its router insert plate is designed with level lock, reducing rings, and precision plate levelers, and its MDF tabletop is manufactured with an easy slide surface. Next, we have Craftsman Router and Router Table Combo. Because this combination comes from the reliable Craftsman brand, you know you are getting a high-quality router, and in that regard, this product certainly does not disappoint. This is for someone who is looking for a smaller router table with an included high-quality router to get basic home improvement woodworking tasks done. Its pros are, its small size makes it easy to fit into any shop. It is great for those new to the world of woodworking. Its router bit height is easily adjustable, with a dial to make fine-tuned micro-adjustments. And the router can easily be detached from the router table and used as a free router if desired. However, the router table is made of particle board, so not super sturdy. Bottom line is, the Craftsman is designed with a dust guard, miter gauge, a 0.25 inch collette, and feather boards. The unit comes equipped with a double outlet strip and a dust extraction port. And it is powered by a 1.75 horsepower motor that provides up to 27,000 RPM of cutting power. Next we have Skill RAS 900 Router Table. This router table is a fantastic option for a user who does not do a lot of consistent woodworking and consequently is most interested in a table that can be easily folded up and stored away when not in use. All user reviews extol the easy storage ability of the skill table. Its pros are, it is sturdy. It has attractive aesthetics. Its table's legs come with storage compartments for additional tool storage. It comes with a wide range of accessories, push stick, depth gauge, and fence. And it comes with two outlets. One can be used for a shop vac to clean up sawdust. However, its black molding around the table's edge is not flush with the table's surface itself and should be trimmed down using a laminate trimming bit on your router. Bottom line is, the RAS 9000 is designed with a quick clamp system and two containers. Its two feather boards help guide the workpiece, ensuring a more accurate routing. And its bit height gauge enhances the accuracy of cuts and makes the unit extremely easy to set up. Next we have Dremel 231 Router Shaper Table. Because this table provides a smaller surface area for working, it is recommended that users only invest in this table if they plan to use it for hobby woodworking, not serious, consistent woodworking such as the kind necessary to make a living. Its pros are, it is well designed. It is good for small amounts of hobby woodworking. It can be modified to fit different spaces and needs. It is good at making straight through cuts and edge cuts and it is small enough to fit pretty much anywhere while still providing adequate woodworking space. However, it is not made of the most high-quality material, and Dremel does not provide good customer service. Bottom line is, the large 8x6 work table is designed with an adjustable fence, 
It is compatible with some cordless and all corded rotary tools, and it can be used to groove, trim, slot, and sand edges. Finally, we have Bosch Benchtop Router Table RA1181. A great option for a smaller router table that you will be able to fit anywhere and easily adapt to multiple different kinds of routers, not just the ones advertised as compatible with this table. This is an awesome router table for those users who are looking for a bit of versatility in their router usage. Its pros are, it includes multiple safety features. Its dust extraction feature works well. It is great for small shop woodworking. It is made of durable, lasting, heavy duty materials. And users report this router table finally made them feel confident enough to use their router for projects they had been putting off. However, its leveling screws loosen easily. Bottom line is, it is designed with a dust collection port, six foot power cord, dual outlet switch, and two adjustable feather boards. The aluminum fence is manufactured with MDF faceplates, and the unit can be attached to any workbench. There you have it, our top five best benchtop router tables on the market. Check out the links in the description below for detailed information and the latest pricing. If you thought this video was helpful, please smash that like button and consider subscribing. If you didn't, let me know why in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next video.